Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join us here in a relatively good position right now, all things considered. We've got ourselves not that many rads, we've got plenty of action points, which is lovely, we've got a sink, we've got a clean bed, we've got a good save point here. I'd say we are in good shape indeed, but... That's not going to last, because I've got a destination in mind that ain't going to be flipping fun. So, destination, all the way the flip down here. Except, of course, we've already been to the Boston Merrill Shelter and supposedly cleared that. We haven't, we never killed the Deathclaw, but I suppose if he wasn't guarding anything, it doesn't really count. So, I've got a pretty clear path I want to follow today. Straight south of here, pretty much directly south, in fact, should bring me to... The Lost Chapel and the Federan Ration Stockpile, and I think, yeah, the Lost Chapel is a trapdoor into the back of that. And that is where I need to pick up my fusion core. Then we make a beeline over towards here, work through the area we've already been through before, pick up the power armor, and then it's into the bloody glowing sea, where I'm probably going to die. Ah, but we have to actually pass through, yeah, Natick. Natic's around here. Thing about Natic is that's a bloody war zone in the base game. All sorts of nasty stuff spawned in there, including death claws potentially. So that's gonna be of interest. Whether there might be our first run in with a death claw either here or in the glowing sea. Either seems they're gonna have just turned the glowing sea into a giant sea of ghouls. Yeah, it's just gonna be nothing but ghouls. <laughs> It's going to be ghouls as far as the eye can see. It's going to be like playing They Are Billions, except I'm going to die. Wait, I died in They Are Billions too. Yeah, but faster. Probably one thing worth checking. Uh, robot, robot, robot. By any chance do you speak or sell? No. Sadly, he's still got Dr. Goodfield or whatever it is his voice, but he doesn't actually sell. So, as I've got a save down, I feel pretty good about just heading out into the wilderness. Check there's nothing. Well... I know I'm going to be found around here. There's something. <laughs> something farm related. That's some sort of farm thing right there. Right. So, uh, in the base game, gunners on top of this here bridge. But so far, it seems nice and... Oh! Turret. Who would have a turret set up? Who has the tech to have a turret set up? Uh, whoever they are... I wouldn't mind having an explorer's to what's going on. Okay, that didn't do anywhere near as much as I was thinking it would. But that's... Now it's firing at me. And I need to spend a lot of bullets and... Oh, uh-oh. What was that? What was... A survivor! Right, okay. Nothing too bad there. No, 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 no. You see, the problem is you've got a stick and I've got... Okay, you do have a stick. Just hold... Hold... Hold still. Okay, that was a lot of bullets. Also, there's a rad storm coming in. And, ooh, 308 round. That doesn't even remotely make up for... Is this a proper... No, I think this is one of the not proper rad storms, which is fine. Okay, so you over here. <laughs> this might not be worth it. If this isn't worth it at all, I'll probably literally just reload from uh, the bed. Because there's no point wasting a whole bunch of bullets if you weren't actually guarding anything. 5.56. Obviously, you know, killing those guys. Ah. You are guarding the lift. Fine. Let's just have a look see what's up top. I don't think there's anything desperately good up top, but I may as well have a look while I'm passing by again. With a save point right there, none of this has to stand. I can just treat this as like a little bit of a, a test run. So, right. So, should have expected that, really. So, how about you just die? And you just die, so dead, and not quite dead, actually, and also miss. You're dead, however. Okay, no. No. Okay, so we're all just missing each other. Got it. That's what this is. This is just basically about missing each other. No, you don't get to go and get friends. Come back here, you. There we go. Animation. Dead. Lovely. Anyone else up here? Found. Found by something hostile, supposedly. That's a, that's a bit... Oh, it's a, it's a cocking turret. Right, okay. So, there's one turret over... Th <laughs> this has gone spectacularly well. Um, is there even any point to me being up here? Is there? Because I don't think there necessarily is. Right, go over here and sprint. Get out of the way of that thing. Let's just quickly have a little look, see whether there's any point in me being here. And jump! 
Because this doesn't actually go anywhere particularly interesting by the looks of things. Uh, I can get a little bit of a view. Actually, yeah. Let's treat this as a scouting expedition. Because that's here. Yeah, there we go. That's my destination. Because there's the federal ration stockpile over there. And as I thought, on the outskirts of that, that's... Okay, that's also empty. That's that's totally 100% empty. Unless it just hasn't loaded in. It might not have loaded in, but I suspect... That just means there's also no fusion core there. So that's two of my fusion cores. <laughs> People were saying, oh yeah, don't forget there's the fusion core uh, below Red Rocket. Uh, yeah, thing about that fusion core is... One, it might not be there because, you know, random fusion cores just aren't bloody there. And that is expert lock safe and some money. And that's not worth coming all the way out here for. So one, it's potentially not even there. And two, there's a lot of rads and potentially mole rats down there. And I don't want to fight those. They're bastards. Wait, hang on. No, I think it has loaded in now. Look, that red light in the middle. I think it hadn't just quite loaded in at that range. Right. We got ourselves our fusion core. We know its destination. It is right flipping there. Good. Good, good, good. And right there on the map is Lonely Chapel, which we'll probably want to start with. And Oh my goodness, is that cows? Oh, well, life just gets better and flipping. Okay. We got ourselves a plan here. Now, there is admittedly a trunk up here that I found by killing that there thing. But that there is just an assault rifle. And I don't really have the... A napalmer, you say? A napalmer? Well, that's... That's intriguing. A napalmer. And it comes with a full tank. Right. So this, I'm going to guess, is just like some form of... Oh, it's some sort of weird, retextured, flamer meets railway rifle thing, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, uh, how fast does the... Oh, the ammo goes down for that thing pretty fast. It looks like it's got slightly longer range than flamer, to be honest. Yeah, maybe just slightly, but not enough to justify... How far can it go? Uh, not quite to there. Yeah, it can just about go from here to where that flame is. That's not worth carrying around for the weight, no. So unfortunately not, we'll just leave this be. So, back to here. Now I've got the plan, because yes indeed, we got ourselves cows to be slaughtered. That'll top up my food supplies. So I've got to head over there, head significantly to the right. That's wild corn. That might be a little bit on the useful side. I've also got this little side building over here. Nothing to... Hang on, that was... No, that was just a hammer. That was not that useful at all. There was, however, mm, great mentats. That's, yeah, great mentats is the sort of mentat that gives you the better buying and selling prices, isn't it? I.e. the sort that is not very useful in this particular mod. Uh, so, we got ourselves the abandoned chapel right here. And I assume the trapdoor here still works. Sorry, lonely chapel, not abandoned chapel. And this gets me over to how many cows? Right. Two cows. And people tell me, by the way, it's not double meat, it's plus one meat. It's just generally in the base game, it looks like double meat because it's one up to two. Uh, but in this game, where these cows are worth a lot more meat. Hello! No, don't worry about me. I'm fine. And then, ooh! Trying to fight back, are you? No, 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 no. I don't flipping think so. Oh! Uh, when I say I don't flipping think so, potentially yes, actually. And there we go. So cow meat four. We'll be having that because, yeah, I'm running a little bit low on food. Not massively, but a bit. And cow meat four again. Fine. So for two times cow meat times four, let's head back over here very quickly. And then, yeah, drop a safety save. Just to actually do I want to. Probably not. The chance of getting ill is a bit on the high side. But I do want to head back to cook this because I don't know how long it's going to be till I run into a cooking station at this point. Hopefully not too long, but screw it. It's worth... Hang on, are you... No, you're one of the ones I killed. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, there's a cooking station over there. Close by to this place. Lovely. This place just comes with so much. It doesn't have any of the um, the real workstations, but it does have all the basic stuff for survival, which is marvellous. So, over to here. And... Hang on. Ribeye steak times many. Now, that's quite a bit of extra weight, but... 
I think we're actually in good shape right now, because if I keep my hunger up, I don't lose strength. Yeah, right now I'm at 109 out of 115. That's good. That's very, very good indeed, because that means I can pick up a fusion core and not be over capacity, which is where I need to be. Ribeye steaks now at 9, together with rad scorpion steaks, so I've got plenty of that. Nothing else, though, and purified water's only at 2. So I'm potentially going to run into trouble sooner rather than later. It might be worth grabbing a few bottles from the Federal Ration Stockpile, if I can find some, and bringing them back here. Because I don't know how long it's going to be until I find another base at this point. Because what do we have around here? We've got... Ooh. We've got Oberland. Okay, actually. Yeah, fine. Uh, that's probably what we'll do in that case. Our plan is now, raid Federal Ration Stockpile on the Lonely Chapel, head over in this direction, cross this bridge, assuming the bear's not still around, head to Oberland, murder the women there, sorry, but, you know, needs must, head back to Beantown Brewery to pick up, one, any bottles that have regenerated, and two, people were telling me, oh, you missed one stockpile of bottles, there's one under the stairs when you go down at the far side of the room, so I can get the bottles there, bring them back to Oberland, fill them up with purified water, and then I should have enough supplies to make it down to the glowing sea and back, hopefully. And if I don't, there's the, um, there's the marina around here that I could theoretically go to. That would be not the worst thing in the world. Also, I'll have the wild corn while I'm passing by because it's food and I shouldn't turn my nose up at food. Right, Lonely Chapel, let's start there. So, in we go. Seems all quiet around here, so we're perfectly safe to explore, at least for the time being. These are all skeletons, not corpses, so no actual loot, unfortunately. Not by the looks of it, anyway. Just check around. Sometimes they've got stuff hidden in the pulpit. Not on this occasion, though. Fine. Let's go down... Wait, hang on, what was that? Oh, no, that was just the command to sit. Uh, fine. Federal ration stockpile. Let's head down into there and have at least a little bit of an explore as to what's going on. You know, thinking about it, I'm not really sure what I want to get out of this place, to be honest. I mean, what can I get that's any good? Oh, wait, hang on. My carry weight's only at 115 because... Ah, uh, It's only because I'm drunk. I've got limited alcohol right now. Yeah, actually, that's a bit of a concern. Um, okay. Okay, 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 it's fine. Uh, the Fungal Purge... Let's do that. Let's actually get rid of the remaining rats. So do that, and then also slap some bandages on wherever I'm bleeding from. It doesn't really make a huge amount of sense, but whatever. So that'll get some rats down. Now what's actually down here? Because remember, we might just want to literally pull straight back out of this place. Maybe we actually have our own light on. Just so I can see, or maybe not. Let's just step into the darkness. Right. Where am I? What am I looking at? And what's here? Because this feels like ruins. And ruins sometimes means ghouls. And if it does mean ghouls, I'm totally up for just saying, screw you and screw everything you stand for. Okay. Fine. I see you over there. I don't see anything else. Let's just take a quick double shot over there. Boom, boom. Someone's searching for me. Let's just quickly reload, just for safety. Now, logically, if they're searching, they'll start at the point where the thing went kaboom. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Okay, that's a human. Question is, what sort of human? Ah, I should have scouted out the Federal Ration Stockpile above. It's probably just survivors. And there's nothing... No, there's nothing around here. Show your face. Come on, I dare you. Where are you? Because if you're a human, that means you'll go down pretty nicely just to torso shots from this old girl. That's all. Oh. One survivor. Okay. And vaguely aiming at me. And... Okay. Just went into space. Good. Also, are you trying to take cover while using a bat? I should probably try and use vats. Because vats... Are you about to actually peer out, by the way? Are you? Are you about to peer out? No, you're about to go over there. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> I'm bringing high-tech laser weaponry, and you are just basically using a... Oh! Balls! Dead. Okay, another one. Fine. One wasted shot. Not the end of the world. If need be. 
go into. Actually, the searching's pretty wide at the minute. I think whoever's left is far away. Fine. Board. Suit. Uh, giant pile of 45 ammo. That's probably the help of Scrounger. Which is nice. Nothing else. Hmm. Okay, that might be nice to just pick up then throw away. And when I say that, I've only got one spare weight capacity right now. So that's not going to fly. I mean, people have been saying, hey, John, you're carrying around all this buff out you're not going to use. Sure, but it weighs 0 0.1. Even if I dump, like, literally all my drugs, that's probably going to be worth, like, two weights total. So we got ourselves. Hang on, was that uh, a thing up top there? Let's just explore this place. I can't remember what it looks like. So we've got a couple of different routes we could go. This is just... Ah! Perfect. Okay. That's potentially worth coming down here just for that. That would be nice to actually keep when all of this is done. There's a mattress. Could drop a save. Probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to just drop a save. Also, make sure there's nothing here that's not new for Frost. Notes about the Commonwealth Army. I think this is base game stuff, if I recall correctly. And there's some Jet and Mentats. And one Nuke Cola. Hmm, I might be tempted normally, but I think we're okay, to be honest. Okay, just for safety. Oh, parched from lack of water. Yeah, I'm going to drop just a fake save here, just to basically get a save down. And... Okay, we've not got sick. Good, that's a good result. I'm kind of, yeah, keen to now save this progress, because I forgot there was one of... Hello, what's that say? Welcome! Oh, have I just murdered some friendly people? I hope not, that'd be a shame. Right, so, exit the basement, now into... Oh, something's the far side of this door. Close by, there's a survivor. Alright, well that's good for you. Just quickly close you down. Actually, keep the door open. I'm in the shadow. They're not going to be able to see me. And boom, death. I'm liking having this gun. This is a good gun. Right, that's both of you dead. So we're pretty much just blasting our way through the stockpile at this point. This is lovely. One shot, one kill. Love it, love it, love it. Because uh, these guys are unfortunately not very well armed and it seems pretty quiet around here. For the minute. Uh, okay. What can we... Ooh! Six cranked laser muskets. Okay, that thing's got to be pretty powerful. 33. Ah, but 33 times six if you fully charge it, but... That would require, obviously, uh, six actual bits of energy cell, and that's a lot of energy cells to spend. Hello. Okay, this area is a little bit more sprawling than I'd like. We've got this area around here. And we got you down there. That's plenty of... Yeah, this is the nice thing, actually. This is presumably what I'm getting out of Scrounger. Some of these guys have got... Ooh. Hello, is this a giant pile of... It is, but they're all empty. That's Psycho, which is nice at least, but... Hang on, up here. Lots of fake boxes, dear oh dear, and darn it. That there, unfortunately, is Master Locked. Just quickly stand up here. It would be nice to get in here, but to suspect we're not pulling it off. There's a survivor. Hmm... Yeah, we're not getting in there. If only I was playing Fallout 4 VR, then I could basically just walk straight through this door because it's basically broken. <laughs> that game is so broken. It's hilariously good fun, but it's utterly, utterly broken. Okay, that means I think through this door down to... Oh. I saw you. I saw you move. And I was kind of hoping you were about to come onto this here crossover point. There he goes, there he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. And, come on. Okay, bit of a waste of shots there, but... Let's go over to, actually, this. Let's go over to this, it's less important. Who else is here? Because whoever it is, the game claims they're close by. But they haven't run to the corpse yet, okay. Let's just get through here, nice and... Oh! Okay, you've got yourself a gun. Uh, take the safe leg shots. One, two, three, and there you go. Now found, technically. Okay. That's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, found by who? Found by who? Found by who? Found by who? Found by... I don't know. 
Someone claims to have found me. Well, if they found me, where exactly are they? Because I don't see them. Yeah. Alright, well in that Where'd case, down over here, you my good man, two fusion cells, can I actually pick this up just for- Ooh, night vision, la -dee da Also, what's an iBot lantern? Is it better than mine? Because I've got a lantern that weighs three, an iBot lantern also weighs three. Fine, I'll probably just leave that then. And sadly, I didn't actually get the clip out of his gun there, but I did get two extra fusion cells, which is nice. Fine. Ah, possibly the person who was detecting me was down there. Looks like that's where this goes next. I don't remember what the deal with this dungeon is, though. That's just... I'm tired. Oh, of course I'm bloody tired. That bloody tiredness that I suffer from, or whatever it's called. I don't remember. Lethar no, Lethargy's the one with the action points. I suffer from some form of tiredness... And that's going to cause problems because overtired starts really hitting. Actually, that could be what we use the the nuka for. That's a very temporary salute. Oh, okay, and boom, boom, dead. Now someone else is there. This is quite a populated area by the looks of things. Where's everyone else? Wherever they are, they're quite. Oh, of course, all the survival stuff is suddenly happening. Right, there's more people around here. I might want to back out at some point because oh. Right, um, well, I've got a plan for you, uh, which is basically to shoot you like this, uh, and screw you, because apparently you couldn't hit me from there, marvellous. Uh, what have you got? Shotgun shells? No, 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 shotgun shells are too heavy, can't do that in survival mode, it's madness. Aluminium cans, more save points, there's... Hmm, is any of this worth doing at this point? I'm not convinced it is. Someone's close by, but they just decided I wasn't there. Would you be around this corner by any chance? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And dead. Lovely. Uh, good headshot there. Oh, one more person coming in. Right, back off. And boom, boom. Dead. Undetected. Right, well, we've got some good kills in, but these guys aren't really providing me with much in the way of, you know, anything worth killing for. You were marked as dangerous, weren't you? And marksman's hard and piercing automatic. No, no, no. Nothing with automatic, please. Nothing with automatic. That is... One unlock empty ammo box. I think I'm good, thank you. Yeah, this is, this is quite a long dungeon for I don't see much in the way of rewards. This just feels like one of those classic examples of just because you can doesn't mean you should. I can kill all these people... All I'm doing is burning my own ammo supplies, unless... Oh. Right, boom, boom. Two shots dead, and another one right there, and boom, dead, dead, and oh dear. That's more of a concern. Back off, back off, back off. Back off, lovely. He didn't actually see me properly yet. There is... Wait, am I actually in the stockpile? Or is this the other side of the stockpile? Don't know. Hang on. Let's just see if I can just get a little bit of a bead on that thing. One, two. Yep, fine. I'm almost leveled up, which might be worthwhile. If I could just get some decent actual... Ooh, lever action. That's nice. And an advanced pipe bomb, bandage, and a blood pack I'll take at the bare minimum. And if I can, I'll take the advanced pipe. Never turn down a good quality throwable. Uh, it's moments like this. I wish I was using something that used the 5.56. Suddenly, I've got all the ammo in the world for that, and actually it seems super quiet. Antibiotics. Antibiotics, purified water. I'll tell you what, it's not terrible. Uh, now, is this... This is the other side to that. That's also master locked. That does not help me. Okay, uh, but... There's some food here, but of course, yeah, the pre-war folks have pretty much burnt through large parts of it, so... Again... I'm not convinced I want to let this stand. I might just... Oh. I think I just changed my mind, you know. Because this here is booze and bottles. Whiskey especially is strength plus two, apparently. I missed that, so that's useful. Okay. Okay, if there's any more booze floating around, uh, is it worth me... Hmm... Is it worth me doing any of this? What's that up there? I don't know what's up there. I mean, for, for flipping three bottles of booze, and that's all that was in the end, and one bottle. Oh. Okay. 
That's... I'm not taking the risk with you bastards. Let's just quickly take a save shot blowing you up. Alright. Watch out for traps in this area. And... I wouldn't mind getting these mines, to be honest. But I'm not willing to take the... Okay, there we go. Not wanting to take the risk. I'm burning through ammo fast. And I'm not getting it back, unfortunately. Right, keep it in that VATS button, because VATS detects mines, which is very bloody useful. Feels like I'm on my own at the minute, so... I'm pretty safe to just loop around here. Is this up to the top of where I saw... Earlier, uh, it might be. Hang on, round here. I cannot remember this area at all. But stealth boy, that's not bad. Uh, medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. I'm up to thirsty. That's the downside of doing the booze. It makes your thirst creep up. And unfortunately, I was kind of hoping for a password up here, or maybe even a fusion core. That might be nice as well. Right, so actually there was nothing up here aside from one stealth boy, which is... Is that a good trade for all the ammo I've spent to get here? I don't know if it is, you know. Because at this point we're going up and it seems quiet. Am I now going up towards the front door? Because if so, I don't want to go out the front door. Because... Yeah, that's Commonwealth. So that's the front door. Okay, I'll let this stand because I've got myself some booze. And, oh, I've got myself plenty of XP, that's nice, XP is good, I kind of wish I could just take back that bit at the end, because that was just mm, 20, 13, I have some ammo, but not enough to say that this was worthwhile, and I can't remember where or if I can get hold of the password for this place, unfortunately, so that is a bit of a shame. Code. Because it would be nice to get in here. Though I think actually mostly that looks like it's it's food and one chest. I can probably do without. Actually, I've just remembered something. The Yeah, the flooded room's here. There was one door I left. What is behind it? And is it worth... Oh, actually, hang on. Well, you've got a bandage. That's bloody useful. The thing is, I've only got one lockpick. And basically every lockpick in Frost is as hard as a master lockpick, pretty much. Oh, thank goodness. Got it. Okay, and that's... I know that shouldn't be a big deal, because that's novice, but yeah, everything is bloody... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is that a flipping... Ooh. Well, that saves me some trouble. Right, well, this is all very, very nice indeed. Good, the whiskey's worn off. That probably means I'm... Yep. I'm over capacity. That's fine. I can fix all of this. Right, do some drinking, do some eating. I've now got, for the moment at least, just yes, space to take this here fusion core. Or at least I thought I did. Apparently I don't actually. Wait, how much do fusion cores weigh? Oh, cock, they weigh 10 now? Oh, blimey. That's... That's harsh. I swear that used to be 5. Right, time to start basically just throwing down a big pile of stuff that I feel I don't need. Because I need to clear out some weight anyway. Because I know when I do get to the power armor, my capacity in power armor is lower than outside it. So I need to have spare capacity. Though I could just basically eat some ribeye steaks when I get there. Because I'm carrying like eight weight in meat right now. Right, I've just dropped a whole bunch of drugs and all sorts. Including some bloody stim packs. And yeah, a couple of blood packs too. But at least I am actually able to keep moving. And obviously, obviously I now just find more stuff immediately. You know, I swear there is actually a password in the base game. And I think it might actually be in this room to get into the actual stockpile. But obviously I suspect this game has taken it out. Because of course it flipping has. Right, now I've got that and I've got my fusion core. I think actually, yeah, I'm going to drop a safety save right here. And then, it's time to be out the way we came in. Alright. Tired from lack of sleep, understandable. So, what do I do at this point? I think I got like one bottle out of this entire place. Which is not great, but I can get back through this place. Okay, apparently there was just a trap here the whole time. <laughs> I just walked straight over that. Wait, have I taken the... 
I might be high enough and sneaky at this point, I'm allowed to just bypass traps. That's entirely possible, yes. The fungal purge I took to also kill some weight has worn off, which is good. I'm now actually almost completely free from rats, which is lovely and sexy. That's a nice change. Okay, back out here. We got the rad storm. I assume that's the same... No, it can't be the same rad storm. It's much later in the day that we saw from a distance earlier. There's the cows. Uh, right, so... As I'm already tired, and I'm suffering on account of that, I'm going to make one final trip back over here to Sunshine Tidings. I am going to sleep overnight to get rid of my tiredness, even though that is a bit of a problem in its own right, just because, uh, yeah, that'll increase my hunger. Hunger's not a problem, though. Hunger's fine. I'm almost done with rats, which is welcome. Haven't got any more food, but I do have one bottle... I can convert into purified water. My vodka's worn off, by the way, and... Right, so that means I'm straight into overcapacity again. Oh yeah, my default weight's only 110. It's 115 with booze. Okay, dump the mines like the IED that I found. That's one. I'm gonna make a sacrifice here. I'm gonna dump the helmet. That's... That's 10 damage resistance. Is there anything else I could drop that would be more effective? Hang on, I know exactly what will be more effective. Because this is not a good plan. One, find literally anything to murder. That's a little bit too far away. I swear there's... Hang on, where's the guy? Where's the guy who's guarding the thing? Because uh, you are not on your own, little turret. You have someone with you. Okay. I want to spend two fusion cells to do this. Yeah. Just, wow, assuming I can hit this. There we go, is that... You see that? That gets me leveled up right there. And with a level up, I can do something very useful. I can just give myself an extra point of strength, or... Hang on, that's heavy gun... Uh, no. Strong back is now at strength 8. Which will be 10 to carry weight, which will be very, very nice. I'd be very tempted by that. Now, an extra point of strength is, I think that's an extra five carry, which is all I really need to stabilise myself. Alternatively, Gunslinger is, yeah, just a bit more accuracy. Fine. What else do I have here? Not ready for Life Giver 3. Chem Resistant, no, I don't have the water anyway. I've got Duck and Cover. It would be nice to have the throwing up, but I've literally only got three grenades right now. Two normal, one plasma. Ninja, no, because that's one-handed melee sneak attack, so don't worry about any of that. Action Girl, two, not available. Might be nice to have... Yeah, I no longer trigger floor place traps. It would be nice to have sneak up to three. That'd be lovely. And Scrounger, two, has... Well, it's made a nice difference, not a huge difference. Yeah, I can't think of anything I want right now more than just more carry capacity. And now my default carry capacity under the effect of plus 10 from Whiskey is 125, going down to 115 once that's done. Beautiful. So, back to the plan here. We got a good plan. I don't know if that entire excursion was worth it. I feel like it wasn't. I probably made just a net loss of survival resources and all sorts there. But let's sleep overnight. Let's get rid of the tiredness, because that tiredness is going to cause problems, because I don't know how long it's going to be till I get to sleep properly again, but... Let's just get rid of it. If I get hungry, that's fine. What have I got? I'm parched from lack of water. Okay, but I'm not actually hungry. And mysteriously, that guy who I upset by blowing up his turret is presumably still looking for me. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Now, from here, what do I want my destination to be? Hmm, interesting. I could just go straight there, because now I don't need to go down to the actual front door of the Federal Ration Stockpile, because I got the fusion core I needed from there. So, what if I make my way just down here? Do I need to make a water trip to Oberland and Beantown Brewery? Is that necessary? Okay, well, I need to go around here anyway, because I know I can't just go straight south, because somewhere around here is the vertebrate that activates and hunts you down and kills you. So obviously, I can't go near that. I need to skirt around the outside of Fort Hagen regardless. So let's just set that thing there, so this direction. Fine. 
Let's just start heading in this way and see what we can do. That guy's lost interest in me, back to undetected. So yeah, we're heading back towards the city. Right now I've got no bottles. Now there was the vague promise by someone in the comments there was a load of bottles I'd missed under the stairs. Now it's possible I hadn't missed them, I just picked them up off screen. That is entirely possible, but hopefully not the case. So yeah, we're skirting well around the outside of you. Conditions so far are pretty clear. There's some form of buildings by the looks of it up ahead of me. And over there. But... The detection... Uh-oh. Okay, that's Car Henge. And I see something moving, but I don't know what it is. Now, Car Henge is a very good spawn point from... Yeah, bear. I'd heard about this. People were telling me this. They said that super mutants may not be in the game, and that's a behemoth spawn point. Anywhere where you would potentially find super mutants where it makes sense, like very often a bear has been put in their place. So, let's keep a distance from the bear. And instead... Oh, is he detecting me? That's a survivor who's currently green. Okay. Not red by default. Hello. Still not going red. Alright. Any chance you're a traitor? Guns away. Hello. Remember, we might pull out a gun when I get closer. No. Hello. Alright. Nothing from you. Uh, and then we've got this place right... Oh, hang on. Is this the... Is that the radiation doctor? Because there's a ghoul in this part of the world that heals your rads. Or rather, is just a medical shop where they can heal your rads. But actually, for once, rads aren't a problem. Look at my lack of rads, ye mighty, and despair. In that case, move away from you. And move over to... Glad I hit that VATS button. Okay, we got something around here. Yeah, I see that IED. I don't see any others. Undetected, but someone's around. Someone's around here and they're angry. Was, oh, sorry, you just startled me a little bit there. Shoots in the head. Right, a wolf lives in this house. Bloody hell, I could have sworn it belonged to three little pigs. Right, uh, let's just move around here and there's probably more wolves because, you know, packs is sort of a thing they do. That's a stealth boy. I've got two of them right now. I don't really want to waste the carry capacity on a third. I'm not using them for anything. Uh, right. Where's the second wolf? Because a single headshot with vats will take care of that. Uh, do I just want to move straight on here? Do I? I probably do. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, cocking hell, you just crippled me, you bastard. How did you sneak up on me that effectively? Go away. Right, I've just been... I look happy about it, though. I do look happy about it. Fine, surgical kits don't actually increase your thirst meter, which it feels like they... Should do, because you ought to be, like, thirsty. Is this another fusion core? Is this a cocking? Right. Well, that's good to know. All that that I just did to get a fusion core, it turns out there's one here guarded by a single cocking pair of wolves. This is why we carry surgical kits. This isn't a problem. So, obviously, I can't actually take that, because that's another ten weight, I assume, anyway. No, I was kind of hoping maybe there'd be some error in the game and they'd allow them to stack, but no, of course not. And suddenly... The mist just set in. Okay, more wolves up ahead. I can do without them, to be honest, because I'm not really getting anything out of that. Uh, let's loop down to... Ah! Is that Arcjet? Am I heading down towards Arcjet Systems right now? I, I don't know. This is roughly the right bit of the map for that, isn't it? Yeah, actually. I'm totally 100% at Arcjet here. Uh, the only problem is, what does Arcjet have in this version? Because Arcjet is since, and there aren't going to be since, or at least if there are. I've not seen one yet. There's Arcjet. Yeah, lovely. Right. Have a little look around here. So this is the back door where you come out at the end. Do I want to go round to the front of Arcjet? I may as well nose inside, just because, well... Hmm. 
In the base game, this is basically a source of ludicrous numbers of fusion cells. You can just kill the synths pretty easily and dance or do it for you. However, if there's no synths, then presumably there's no fusion cells. I'm going to guess ghouls, and if I guessed correctly, because 9 out of 10 times it is ghouls, then I don't want it. That's a bottle. That's a bottle. I will gladly take bottles, so that's, that's even more bottles. Okay, you know what? Maybe I won't go inside. Maybe I'll just say those bottles made it worthwhile. <laughs> Anything after that point would just be greedy. In fact, before I do go inside, yeah, there's... Hang on. Oh, there's a couple of hmm, mysterious floor birds. Never trust mysterious floor birds. Uh, any chance we can just get ourselves some more stuff around here? No. Nothing of any interest to be... Oh! I say that. Hello, bottles. I'm now over capacity from bottles. You know what? That's a good situation to be in. Okay, drink some water as those bottles are water in waiting. I can't actually really afford to pick anything else up, but yeah, sure. I'll nose inside just to see what's going on here. I've got to be careful not just to explore for its own sake, though. By the way, the reason uh, everything looks like this is because I ate some wolf ribs recently. So that's why everything's a little bit weird and blue. I can't just explore for its own sake. I don't have the the ammo for it. Let's actually go over to the sword for the time being. Something is really close. Something's very close by, and I don't like this weird colour scheme. What is it? Actually, wait, there's a there's a room up here? What's in the room up here? I don't remember this room up here. Dan's normally uh oh. Right. Turn the light off, perhaps. And just sneak in here. Right, there's... Wait, hang the flip on. Hang the flip on here. Isn't this... Yeah, I think it's time to go, actually. I think it's time to cock and go. Uh, because as it turns out, I think all the locked doors are not... Oh! They've completely redone this area. Okay, um, 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 wait... This might be worthwhile, because robots and uh, ceiling turrets and whatever, they drop... Oh dear. They they drop things that are useful. Um, 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 do I... Oh, 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 do I... Torso... Okay, go for it, yeah. One, two, three for a finish. The thing is, ceiling things can drop 10 millimeter. Okay, I might be able to make a profit of ammo here... And these guys sometimes drop fusion cells. Yeah, there's fusion cell 9. You see, with the benefit I'm getting from Scrounger, it's probably worth me killing enemy types that I know ought to drop the sort of thing I want. Because these things generally aren't that hard to kill. Hello. Yeah, there we go. Over to you. Right. Just one, two, three. So that's you dead. Now if I'm lucky, there's another one. One, two, three. Dead. So you guys will hopefully have just dropped a pile of... Hang on, where are, you, where are your corpses? Yeah, there we go. Ten millimetre. Five bullets. Now, I know there's a second one. That's that's the one I already picked up. Where's some actual pick upable debris? Is that, that there? You see? We're making a profit all of this. Oh, okay. The people who told me to go for Scrounger... Well done. Well flipping done. Is that a... Where's, where's the next one? There it is. It's... Okay. And... One, two, three. Right. That's that done. Is there another one in this corridor? Doesn't look like it. Seven. Oh, yeah. We're way up. This makes up for our little excursion earlier. Right. This is... Oh. Is there another one in this room? Oh, good. Oh, that's a robot. That's an actual robot. Fine, but it's a Protectron. Alright, I can knacker the Protectrons with this laser rifle. It's fine, I just need to find him. Now, logically, I was that side of the room when he became aware of me. So he's going to be over there. Alright, okay. Okay. We've got ourselves rooms here, including... And... Nope, empty. Boo. Aluminium canisters. Okay, nothing in there. There's some good rooms around here. This is... Open up that. That's... Ah, this is up top the other side from the starting room. Yeah, they've completely rewired this dungeon. It's now 
backwards. I didn't even know that shortcut to the later bit existed, but apparently it does. We're skipping the early bit with dance, possibly because of some weird triggers that they couldn't either turn off or figure out how to work with. And that is... Okay, that doesn't do anything. Fine. So now we're, now we're going backwards from where you go in the main game. Got it. Now I just need to get eyes on that robot before it sees me. And by any chance... Nope, no bobby pins in the mirror. That's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, was that something on the ground? Just a hairbrush. Not that useful. Right around here, any chance of... I see a machine gun turret up there. Open up the store, but then back off, because there's... all. Oh. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, and boom, 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 dead. Now, can I also get you? Yes, I can. And is that? That's safe. That should be all. Oh. Is that 100% safe? Did I just see the brackets just a flicker for one moment? I don't know. I thought I did, but I may be going mad and imagining things. That mod does kind of do that to you. Okay. I think we're safe for the time being. That gets me another... Oh. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, more officers, including... Schematics for wind turbines. Apparently, I completely missed that you didn't have schematics. Because, you, know, like, you know, it's not like I've got enough materials to build anything. <laughs> but apparently so. That's an empty nuke bottle. And there's a new cola. Uh, I need to drop some more drugs to make room for the bottles. Right, we should be safe for the time being. That is seven more. I think it took three to kill him. So, yeah, I'm making good, good profit here. And for the time being, everything appears to be calm. This will lead back into that room I passed through earlier. Yeah, that's fine. That's a nice, obvious laser tripwire. No, no, not the folder. Just, okay, there's something. There you go. I've got crystal probably for the first time. You, I would like to not wake up. If you'd be so kind, that'd be great. In fact, I'd like to not go in this room full stop, to be honest. But now I've turned that off, surely that's the trigger for you activating. Like, that logically makes sense. And we've got ourselves... Ooh, Tesla Science! If I ever use this for a critical, that'll be good. In fact, actually, that might be the end of... Ooh. Hello. Giant pile of money and... Hmm. Nothing else of value, to be honest. CEO's terminal. Let's just make sure there's nothing here because, well, they've put some actual work into this spot, but this is, yeah, I think this is all in the base game. I don't think any of that is actually, no, fine. Leave you well alone. Is there anything else around here? Because now we're going down. Okay, no. No. You've blocked that off. I think that's actually the entire dungeon. So, Arc Jet has been kind of rewired, and it's very worthwhile coming here, because, ooh, unless... No, that's just a broken ceiling. Okay, that's literally it by the looks of things. I don't see any other way to get anywhere, unless there's anything out here. Doesn't appear to be. Right, well, Arc Jet has been a very worthwhile trip. I'm swimming in bottles. And that is just a good state of being. And if I need it, I've got a tube flange. Everyone loves a tube flange. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Actual rad storm. Right. So, time to find a nice seat. Here's a nice seat. We'll have a nice sit here. We'll just wait out a few hours. Lucky that happened while I was like, you know, nice and conveniently close to a building that actually had a chair inside it. Okay, three hours later, I'm thirsty and peckish, but that's fine. I'll be able to top up my water supply very soon indeed. Check outside. Nice and safe. Come on. That looks like the sort of rad storm that, yep, yeah, that's the sort of rad storm that now doesn't give you rads, even though it looks distinctly more green than the sort that does, which is quite frankly weird, but whatever. All right, over to the map here. So, I could, of course, yeah, join up with the road that leads back to the Cambridge Police Station right now. Don't want to do that, because, yeah, that's Ghoul Central. Don't want to be involved there. Probably best I just head over open ground, heading south. 
link up with the road that I can't remember whether that's a highway in terms of like a raised highway if it's down on the ground. Normally road that thick means a raised highway because it is going down towards, yeah, it's going down towards the interchange. So probably best we just head south between those two bodies of water and just make it for that spot after we make it past the water. Although actually, it looks like I might be able to get up top on the actual thing here. Uh, potentially anyway, or no, no, maybe not. No, definitely not in fact, but it does at least give me high ground. And I see some slight glitches in the universe over there. Pretend you didn't see that. And now I've just got to... Oh. Now I've got to find a way to... Oh, no, no. Ignore the glitch in the universe again. Just head through here. This looks like a safe spot. For the moment at least... For the moment at least, the brackets are... Quiet. Uh, I saw that building over there, by the way. I know for a fact there's a little housing estate up there, but it's Ghoul Central in the base game. I'm not going anywhere near it, just in case. And for the time being, at least, we seem to be in a nice, quiet bit of the map. That is... Hang on, what are you? Whatever you are, I don't like it. And I don't like the fact that we're now actually encountering... Something. Hmm. That, I think, is super mutants in the base game. Okay, I'm going to skirt around the out... Oh! Wait, what? Found? Found? Found by who? Because if someone's willing to find me and not try to murder me and not go red, because, like, you know, harmless wildlife, like the deers, I think they do go red... If I could find a shop, that'd be great. But I don't, I don't see anybody aside from God Race. Is it you, God? Have you found me? Because I thought it was supposed to be like the other way round. Literally, that's how people phrase that. Whatever it is, I'm giving that place a bit of a wide berth. It's not part of my plan. I want to make a bit more actual, you know, progress towards my destination today. So we'll skirt around the outside of it. Maybe I'll have a peer down with my sniper rifle. We've actually got some convenient high ground right here. City looks kind of cool in the distance, by the way. That looks nice, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's that's super mutants in the base game. Have a little looksy round. Have a little looksy round. Now, people were mentioning to me... There's apparently, like, some form of, like, special item that can only be got out of gore bags. Uh, so... Hmm. In theory... In theory, it might be nice to go and have a look at those gore bags, because they are there. Or I could nip back into town and revisit the Fraternal Outpost, because I never really bothered looking at the gore bags, because they're kind of useless in the base game. Occasionally a handful of caps, but other than that, nothing of any interest. Everything seems calm right now. That isn't detecting a thing. So, what is this place all about? Because there's clear signs of habitation. But it could just be they didn't, like, you know, bother to put new enemies in after they removed the old ones. I mean, this place looks deserted. This could just be some nice, easy scaving. It's also worryingly flooded, however. How deep is the water? Shallow. Okay. No. Oh. 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 No, no, no. I definitely don't want to be... Yeah, there's the Western Water Treatment Plant. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh, no, 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 Okay. Stick to the areas that are presumably actually, like, you know, marked with... Hmm... How do I know what is and isn't floor? Okay, if I just jump over here, here we go, right. That's definitely floor there. And then we've just got ourselves, yeah, it's, it's all quiet here. Weirdly quiet. Suspiciously cocking quiet, in fact. Right, just keep eating as I get hungry. That'll just give me some extra space and then, yeah, okay. Gore bags right there. And any more? 
And there's the front door there. Okay, I don't really want to get involved. There's another gore bag. Is that actually an interactable one? It's mole rat teeth, because yeah, something was mentioned to me, which is someone mentioned something wonderful sounding, which was someone mentioned the possibility of... That looks nice and shallow, right? Yeah, drop down to... Oh! Watch out for that. Someone mentioned the possibility of a ghoul mask. So the ghouls no longer attacked me, just like in Fallout 3. Now, that, that to me sounds wonderful. There's shotgun shell 5. 3, 8, no, none of that's any use to me. That's, ooh, combat rifle. More bottles and actual ale, lovely. That'll just knock off a handful of the rads I just picked up there. Okay, there's there's a gore bag right over here, assuming this is all shallow, which it looks like it is. Skull fragment, no, bad luck. Left arm bones, right foot bones, you know, the sort of stuff you'd expect to find in gore bags. Two more up here, and if I don't find what I'm looking for, I might drop a save on one of these mattresses and then be on my way. Because uh, I think I saw, yeah, I need to very, very carefully <laughs> jump up here and not fall in the... Not fall in the strange me, and I'm not taking the risk going any further. Fine, I'm just going to drop a save here, and then we'll be on our way with, once again, more bottles. Although, actually, as I have a save down, as I have a save down, <laughs> I could. I just could just go and have a little Luxy inside. Like, I know it's probably not going to be good, but I could do, you know... I love how we've gone from, I'm definitely not paying any attention to that, to, okay, I'll have a look at the outskirts, to, oh, go on then, I'll go inside and explore, why not, eh? Okay, something's alive in here. Dirty water, Nuka-Cola, don't worry about any of that. What is in here? Because the outside doesn't give us any help, because all the dressing is, uh, yeah, stuff that was in the base game pertaining to super mutants, and we know it's not super mutants, so in which case... What is it? Okay. Just a little bit further. And, ooh, this is nice. This is nice. Antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics. Purified water. Fine. You know what? Purified water's not bad. It keeps me going. And rib cage and spine. Yeah. So it feels to me like this is a whole bunch of stuff pertaining to, once again, soup mutants. So in which case, if it's not super mutants, and by that, what's that in the bin? That is a blood pack buff out. No, I just dumped a whole bunch of that stuff. I don't need any more. What is going on? That's advanced locked. Literally can't open that, even if I wanted to. And that would be dangerous, I imagine. To my supplies of... Okay, up to the roof. Sure, why not while it's there? Very often there's a little extra building or two on the roof. That's just... That's nothing major. Uh, do I see something on the other side, however? Look like there might be, yeah. One little building over here. It's all, yeah, it's all weirdly quiet out here, in fact. It's possible they just forgot to update this place. The booze has worn off, meaning I'm, uh, yeah, currently over capacity. Let's just quickly crack this computer. Nothing major here, just turn off the spotlight controls, but do also have uh, safe controls. Nice, so we can get ourselves a safe. Quickly check what we've got in here, and ooh, okay, some stuff, bobby pin, useful, radex, leave it, I've got some radex, don't just take all drugs just because they're there. Right, I've just burnt the last of my water for the sake of getting my thirst down to completely empty, so yeah, I need to convert these bottles into purified water. The question is, do I want to push on, or do I want to prioritise sorting out my survival stuff? Okay, be ready to pull straight out of here because, well, actually, in the base game, this is Mylurx. Okay, it's super mutants on the outside, Mylurx on the inside. Kind of like a dime bar when you think about it, but neither of those... Oh. Okay, just quickly take you down because, yeah, electronic security is worth killing just for the sake of the often, yep, yeah, profit I make on ammo. Good. So this was worth visiting for, just for that. Through here. And we've got ourselves... Oh! Plasma cartridge! 
Okay, well, I've got no plasma weaponry, and I don't see any plasma weaponry coming in time soon, so don't bother. Don't bother cracking open that door, because completely pointless. Chemistry station, that's basically just some free... Well, if I had base drugs, if I hadn't already thrown all of them away, it would basically be free XP, but sadly, I can't actually make anything here. All right, head down. Something's alive in here. And that is... That's water. Okay. I can't... Yeah, can't open that door, presumably because the pressure doesn't make sense. I'm not going into that room. I do whoever have pump control. I'm going to regret pushing that switch. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe I'm... Wait, that looks like a Myalurk over there. Is that a cocking Myalurk? Are there cocking Myalurks? Oh, bloody hell. I swear I just saw what looked like the roof of a Myalurk's head there. Like, and also, roof is not a good word for the top of someone's face, but all right. Flood control system. What is this even for in the base game? I think this is just like a, a little random area. Right, system diagnostics. Um, also... Operating instructions. I don't bother reading those first. Well, if it's not my alerts, what is it? Because, yeah, there's that room down there. Alternatively, there's there's a button right here. Which also seems to be... Can I hit that button again? I can hit that button again. Good, I want to hit that button again. Because I want you to die. Three hits, you're done. Where's your friend? Alright, I know you got a friend. Because, yeah, there you go. One, two, three. Fantastic, I think that just took two. Right, so now we're all quiet in here. Get myself some nice bonus ammo. I mean, if this is literally just... Oh, yeah. If this is literally nothing but um, electronic security, then that is great. Because I can just basically make money, or rather ammo, profit here. Which would be absolutely marvellous. Right, push this button and be prepared to push it again to close it up after we're done. And now we've got just a little passageway. Does this lead down into... Okay, this presumably leads downstairs into the room I've just... Yeah, the room I just cleared. Fine. So bear in mind, if I run into trouble, I can... Underwater machine gun turrets. Intriguing. Uh, question is, how do I kill you? Because you're underwater. And sometimes it's kind of difficult to shoot stuff that's underwater. The game gets a bit fussy about that. Because I see... That looks distinctly like a little Milo hatchling to me. But, but maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just going mad. I don't know. Uh, right. Continue pushing buttons. And then... Right, well, this is where absolutely everyone died then. Got it. But this seems like this is worthwhile. Because I might need ammo in the glowing sea. So, if I can get ammo here... Great. Don't that is... No, that's not a shortcut back to the beginning, I don't think. Because that's not... The, oh, 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 oh. Yes, no, maybe. Hang on, what? What's searching for me? Is it... Oh, 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 Hello? Are you right up above me? You... Yes. Okay, so just kill that. That's a dick placement right there. Um, It's... Claiming something's found me. I don't know exactly what it would be. More ammo. I'm guessing it's going to be... Yep. Yeah, one, two, three. And I can kill you faster than you can kill me. Which is a very nice position to be in. Oh, we've got... Oh. Okay, that's just floating in the air now. Everything's fine. That's a free fusion cell as well. That's welcome. Everything's fine. I'm not panicking. Push the button, but be prepared to push the button again. If you have to. And... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, it's probably another... Yeah, it's another... It's another dick placement. Uh, but as long as I kill them in under, like, five bullets, I still win. Right, activate that. And that is... Water goes down. But... 
that is probably now going to activate the turrets I saw earlier. Which are now probably... Well, that one's underwater. That one's still underwater too. Oh, cock. Oh, cock. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. I've made a horrible mistake. Why are ghouls suddenly here? How many is it? How many is it? How many is it? There's one, sure. I don't see much movement. Yeah, I see you over there. It's fine. And this gun is not accurate enough for that. If you guys just want to hold still. I know you can't get over to me right now. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, no, 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 no. He's trying to get over to me. Right, go, go, go. Move, move, move. So he's supposedly found me. But I think he's way down there. And now I'm parched and whatever. Oh, bloody hell. So, so now there's, now there's ghouls. The one thing I didn't want to fight. There you go. There you go. Screw you. Take him out nice and quick, please. Thank you. Now, are there any other ghouls here? Well, something's still active, but it's not necessarily ghouls. It might be other electronic things I've just activated. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Those are still underwater. That's still underwater as well. So we got double underwater there. Do I want to push on at this point? Or am I going to say screw it and screw you and screw everything? Because this is blatantly obviously going to spawn more ghouls if I carry on. And I don't want to be fighting ghouls. Like, I just don't. Because it's a stupid idea. Because why would you? Because they cause rads and refuse to ever cocking die. Plus, I'm eating into my food supplies fast here. In fact, ooh. Crab meat. Yeah, okay. Now I've got the thing. These guys are producing crab meat. So eat a ribeye steak and then take the crab meat. And then, ooh, also take an egg. Create an omelette. Watch out for machine gun turrets, though. Okay. One of you is going to activate. Grab an egg. Grab how much do these cooking eggs weigh? Oh, yeah, they weigh one each. Okay, that's not going to fly. Okay, a few eggs return to the ground there. Hit this, and then immediately back off way over here. Way over here. Yeah, I'm tired. I need to be finding a bed soon. Uh, that is going to be a nice, easy pick off. One, two, three. And there's another one. Four, one, two, three. Now, there might be more. Something is searching for me. The question is, is it more ghouls? Have I just made a really stupid error? Because it is quite possible I have, yes. But, now I've done that, I want the ammo. The bet no, that was the buzz of a turret losing interest. There is at least one more turret in here. Fine, that's okay. And just keep taking the crab meat to replace the ribeye steaks. Okay, once I cook all this crab meat up, actually, we'll be in good shape. Probably. Right, I got one of the turrets there just by jumping and grabbing it. The other one is, hang on, how, how deep is this? No, 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 out, out, out. Right, we're not, we're not done yet, apparently. There's still one tier that needs to be dealt with. Hang on, where's the other set of... I think I saw some controls to the other side. I can't remember how this dungeon bloody goes, but I think I saw something over here. By the way, you guys planning to crack open? No, you're already mostly cracked open. Fine, not waking up. Around here. Go oh, one, two, three. No, it was only two, but that's fine. That's more ammo. Good old profit. Um, okay, I'm now overweight from ammo. That's such a good problem to have. No, I think at this point, if I want to go further into this dungeon, it involves deliberately getting yourself into a radiated water, which I'm not doing. Alright, I've spent so long trying to avoid rads, I'm not accepting it. Except that what I've got out of here is a giant pile of meat and a good surplus of ammo, all things considered. Let's just be on our way, alright? Get back to plan A here. I'm tired, I need to get myself some sleep at some point. Alright, it's night now, but it's still quiet.
All right, this is fine. This is something I'm happy to say. I say that, but that... No, that's the radio. That's the radio. <laughs> it's fine. Don't panic. Radios don't want to kill you. Well, actually, it's frost. They probably bloody do. Um, oh, how am I going to get to land without... Okay. Ah, uh, just accept one bloody moment of... Nope, didn't even need to accept one bloody moment. Okay. Now, it's night and it's dark, but... It's also quiet, and I'm almost at the bridge. Uh, the little kind of damn swappy over thing I saw previously. Uh, assuming I've laid my marker in the right location, which I do seem to have done so. Yeah, lovely. Now, there might be the old ghoul around here, but it should be. A-OK. -okay. That is just a torque rod end. Don't need to worry about that. Yeah. So now we're directly south of that area I've been to before. I can cross here. Now, we have seen bears in this area in the past. There's a possibility I might need to... Who is Moss? Because he's being marked in red. Which makes me think I should kill him before he kills me. But he's named... And that's concerning. I mean, are we 100% sure that's not the trader who was there last time? I mean... Okay, let's just... Move up nice and slowly here. Who exactly are you? Because if you're willing to sell to me, I'm willing to buy from you. We've got... Oh. Okay, so Moss is angry, Mike isn't. What the heck is going on here? I'm confused. I'm confused why Moss and Mikey are apparently... Okay, fine. You know what? Sorry, guys. Dead and dead. I didn't want to do that. I think those are the two guys that have a discussion about the definition of a sandwich. But one of you was marked as fundamentally hostile. Ooh, crab meat. That's good. That's very good. Right, and you've got a cooking station, I believe, actually. You've got a... Do you not have a bed? I could have sworn you had just, like, a mattress. Fine, we can drop a save here. That's okay. So, hang on. Uh, no, not healing. Roast, 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 roast. Crab. I need... Okay, apparently I need oil and razor grain for a crab cake. Can I just not cook the crab? Please tell me I can just cook the crab. I'm going to be very annoyed if I literally am not just allowed to, like, you know, cook some... Oh, good. Oh, it's only two. Ugh. Okay, that's not great, to be honest, but it'll have to flipping do. And that omelette requires a dirty water, darn. Hmm, that's that's a nice thing to have, but I might just drop the egg I've got just for the weight, as I can't actually, yeah, I can't actually make the omelette, because I don't think I've got any... Well, actually, hang the flip on here. No, 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 wait. John, 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 John. Remember all of those bottles that you're carrying around, like all of the cock in time. Remember all of them. Fill one bottle. Marvellous. This is a waste of a bottle, but I wouldn't mind having an omelette. So now, now I can actually make myself one Milo cake omelette that doesn't involve Milo. What's a Milo? I don't know. They just forgot to change the text. Boom. One omelette. Right. One fake hour sleep here. And I'm thirsty and tired, I know, but we're almost at our destination and it's worth it for a save. Because at this point, I should just be able to basically sprint straight over to Oberland. Now, Oberland is not allied to me right now, uh, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate, mainly for the people who already live there. Because I would be very happy to just be friends with them. But unfortunately, they're not going to be up for that because we've got, yeah, bloody water pumps. If I actually use your cooking station, no. Like someone suggested if I just kind of used the various benches, that might make me allied. But that doesn't seem to work. So I am very, very sorry. But you're not going to let me use your settlement. And that means uh, there's only really one option here. So, actually, if we can, I'd rather not use, yeah, I'd rather not actually, you know, waste uh, ammo on this. So, 
and a one, and a quick two before the other one wakes up, please. Okay, didn't wake up, fine. Well, 4.5 damage, very, very good indeed. Good old sneak attacks. Um, I'm very sorry about that. Ooh, two bobby pens. I'm not sorry anymore, that was worth it. Right, and now as a result of that entirely justified thing I just did, this settlement belongs to me. One volt tech sink. Very good. Right, just move their filthy beds outside. And move your filthy sleeping bag outside too. Sorry, we're redecorating a bit here. Uh, so now I should be able to put my bed right... Right. Okay, well, if you're going to be annoying about this... No. No, no, no. She's, she's coming with me. This object is too heavy to carry. Well, that doesn't help me, game. The game's being very fiddly about letting me actually build this thing in this room. So I guess we're just sleeping outside. Which strikes me as a recipe for disaster, but... If we have to do it, I guess we'd better sleep like, you know, right next to the fire or whatever. Also, the thing that I keep forgetting about that people keep telling me about is a thing. Yes, workshops actually just gather purified water. So as a result, this place just has six purified water in it. Which is very, very useful, together with a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, it's time to figure out what we're going to do here. So, convert all my bottles to purified water. Then need to figure out how the hell I'm going to carry all this stuff. Because purified water weighs uh, 0.5 more than... Oh, right. So that's all done. Lovely. Right. Okay. Let's figure out what we're doing. I am currently in possession of one omelette. The nine purified water here. I don't think there's any food further up. No. Five ribeye steaks. Yeah. Two roasted mute crab meat as well. So that's, that's an okay amount of water right there, and an okay amount of food as well. Now if I drink two purified water now, that gets me one, two, the amount of weight I require, and two, yeah, actually in good shape all round, I think. So the only question now is, do I want to leave anything here that's too heavy or whatever to take with me? How much does that thing weigh? Oh! Okay, that's very, very weight-efficient food. Got it. That's why omelettes are good. They only weigh 0.1. Very, very nice. Because here's the thing. I will come back here. At some point, I will be back. That's definitely true, because if I'm going down to the Glowing Sea, wherever it sends me next, I'm going to want to come back north sooner or later, surely. So, how about I just actually dump just a few bits and pieces... In here, like, I don't need more than six stim packs, to be honest. I can just leave some of that here. But aside from just a handful of drugs or whatever, I'm struggling to actually find much to leave. And bear in mind, the only reason I'm trying to actually clear all this out right now is because I want to take some purified water. Just the one, apparently. Just the flipping one. Nothing else here that's any good? No. I think the rest we will just leave here for the time being. And I hope that once I get down to that power armor, and I've drunk a bit of water, eaten a bit of food, and I've taken the fusion core that weighs 10 out of my inventory, that should be good enough for me to be able to walk in that power armor. Hopefully, anyway. And still, tragically, no flipping antibiotics. And tonight I sleep outside. Oh, I hope this doesn't go horribly wrong. Come on, don't go horribly wrong. This is, this is not good. I need to get rid of the tiredness. I need to get rid of the flipping tiredness. And I'm peckish and parched, but other than that, I'm fine. Which is good, because I don't mind being parched, because guess what? There's more flipping water right here. And I think the bloody robot that wants to get me to go to Cambridge Polymer Labs has once again tracked me down. Stupid bastard. Right. Bright new day. Good progress day. In particular on the ammo front. I've now got... Yeah. Plenty of 10mm to keep myself going when I was almost out of that. And... Plenty of the actual fusion cells too. That's... Actually, I could kill you. He's probably got no. If he's that difficult to kill, then presumably... Actually, yeah, that's a bad idea because I might make a loss on him. Right. That's enough for now, ladies and gentlemen. But... 
I have got a plan right now, and I think we've made some good progress towards it. Next week, we can retread the steps we already know are safe, over the bridge, skirting around the outside to that convenient trader, head round towards Boston's Merrill Shelter, but on the way, pick up the power armor from about here-ish. That power armor then needs to walk through what may well be the absolute nightmare of Natick, and then it's the Glowing Sea. <laughs> Next week, we're heading into the Glowing Sea, but... I think we are ready for it, alright? We've got basically no rads whatsoever. I have got radex. I've got a spare rad away. There's a sentence I thought I'd never be able to say in Frost. So, we're in pretty good shape. We're in alright shape. I think we can do this. Right up to the point where I discover that yes, indeed, the glowing sea is just basically they are billions of zombies. Because it might well flipping be. Knowing this mod, quite frankly, that's bloody likely. Let's put the marker down in here-ish. Let's just put the marker down about there. That's our destination and we will be making it there, hopefully at least, next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much and goodbye. Oh no! Oh dear! America's decided they do not like us! Just want to finish off China, I can die happily. Well, not happily because there's nuclear fire involved, but moderately happily. There we go! I've just started... Oh god. The Earth was fun, wasn't it? We can all agree, the Earth was great!